Hello, I'm Matt Hoots here, and I am at an exciting booth. I've been working with these people for at least 20 years now um, on some products, 10 years in other products. And I've got Kristen, she's going to talk to us about Huber. Now, Huber makes lots of different products. They've got Advantech, they've got the Zip system, um, which does walls, roofs, and they also have like three or four different types of Advantex now. Now, last time we actually met in person was 2020, and they've got more colors. Now they've got we got some greens, which they had before, some browns they had before. Now they have white and yellow, so I have no idea what these things are. So she's just going to explain those things to us. And we're going to talk about how this system keeps your house air sealed, well, you know, which, which helps with insulation and also keeps the water out. All right, Kristen, so are you guys like Benjamin Moore now, just coming up with like designer <laughs> colors, or do these colors actually have a purpose? Yeah, we actually have quite the palette going on here, Matt. And and you're right, it, it is representative of a wide array of solutions that we're bringing to the table to make sure that people have a wide range and versatility for how they can utilize our panel products, all of our accessories that really create a streamlined system for air and water management while providing all the structure that you need for a long-term durable building envelope. Okay, so let's talk about like where Huber started and where you guys are now. So in 1997, we came out with our very first high-performance product in Advantech subflooring, which you can see behind us here. So Advantech has been a great product for keeping water out of the flooring system and helping reduce the chance for delamination, flaking, edge swelling and it's become a real um, game changer for a lot of builders and remodelers throughout the country. So it's been on the market, like I said, since 1997 for a long time. A couple years ago, we advanced that subflooring system a little bit more with the introduction of Advantech subfloor adhesive. So that is our foam to gel subflooring adhesive that creates this panel to joist bond that reduces squeak so much. In fact, we guarantee it with a squeak-free guarantee. Um, it's got a lot of different properties that make it a real advantage on the job site. It has an eight times yield over your traditional caulk adhesive, so it gets you a lot further, a lot faster, has a lot of versatility in terms of how it can be installed in cold climates. And overall, it's really just going to create this solid subflooring system that's going to reduce deflection, which can really put you at risk for squeaks. We are super excited about launching this new product called Advantech X Factor. It takes all of the amazing water resistant properties that, that builders come to expect from a brand like Advantech, but it actually creates an entirely brand new category of premium subflooring with a built-in water shedding surface that completely decouples bulk water from your wood panel. And anytime you can keep water away from the wood, it's a really good idea. And it's really just going to take that um, endurance even further than what people have come to expect from Advantech. Um, it is a, like I said, a water shedding surface, but there's some additional benefits to it because it's a, um, it's a surface that's made actually with a resin impregnated paper that's baked into the manufacturing process. It has a writable surface, which is really advantageous on the job site for creating communications around moving walls and whatnot. And um, it's a very easy cleaning surface. And um, when you pair it with our Advantech subfloor adhesive, it too also gets backed by a squeak free guarantee. Yeah, so this is three quarter inch. Uh, and in some cases, we have some roofs that we have to do that are three quarters. So can this be used on a roof system as well if you need that extra, um, or do you have to use one of the other zip system, like the roof, the roof panels? Right, yeah, right now this is actually just warranted for subflooring application use. But to your point, we have an array of panels of options for um, zip system products used in sheathing applications on our roof. Got it, so the color does matter. Color so basically does matter. yellow on the inside, Green on the green on the walls, and then basically the the brown on the roof. That's right. Got it. That's right. All right, so let's take a look at the zip system, which is the next one over here. Right. This is the one. You know, we worked together 12 years ago on this product on on a, on a house, and um, I tell you what, I was sold immediately because we left this product outside for months. I know you were not supposed to do that because the client could make their mind, up their mind on the cladding, and we finally installed it. The zip system looked like the day we installed it. So wow. great product. Uh, yeah. We were sold immediately because of that. So how long are you supposed, you're not supposed to leave this exposed at all, but like how long can you leave this exposed before you cover it up with the cladding? Yeah, absolutely. 
So it comes with a 30 year warranty and a 180 day exposure guarantee. So it is designed to endure the tortures of weather exposure. And again, because this is built with an integrated water resistive barrier that eliminates the need for house wrap and it's seamed with our, our or it's sealed at the seams with our acrylic tapes, it is um, a very indelible type of system that's made for that type of exposure. Yeah, one other point, I've got a house right now and my window manufacturer, we're, we're, we're putting the zip system up on it and the window guy said, yeah, you're not going to get your windows for another 16 weeks. Yeah. 16 weeks is less than 180 days, so we're still good. So we're going to put right. the system up, leave this over the openings and then wait for the windows to come in, then cut everything out. Perfect. So great product That's exactly for that. what it's designed to do to help you out on the job. Keep schedules moving and keep your wrist low. And it looks cool too. Like yeah. you can say you're a green builder if you have a green green right. seating on it. All right. Great for marketing. All right. So we, <laughs> we're moving from green, yellow to green to, I don't, I don't want to mess up. Is, is this brown? Like what is the color here? It's question. kind of like. It's technically Sienna. Okay. Sienna. I, this I feel is like our Sienna fancy. zip system panel. And it is, like you said, there is a color coding system here. So we had yellow for Advantech X Factor, green for our 716th zip system wall sheathing, which can also be used on a roof. And then this is more predominantly used on roof. It's our half inch and five eighths zip system sheathing. Again, with that built in integrated water resistive barrier, which replaces the need for felt on a roof. Now, some people really do like these colors. Do you guys provide the Benjamin Moore and Sherwin Williams color equivalents on your website? We'll Not quite yet. <laughs> Are you All right, okay? Let's do a flashback really quick to 2020. This display looks kind of like the one in 2020, and I got some footage of that, but it uh, looks like you've added a layer to the edge. What's going on here? Yes. So we have taken our zip system sheathing and tape roof assembly to the next level. What we're adding to the system now is a new peel and stick rubberized asphalt underlayment. And a lot of times people, you'll see it traditionally used here on the eaves or in the valleys or even whole roof applications. And this will meet those needs for preventing ice dams or wind-driven rain intrusion, especially in those coastal areas. Some places it's required. Some places people are really elevating their level of protection on the roof because it really is a home's first line of defense against critical areas where water can seep in and really affect the home. So we are adding this to zip system sheathing and tape. And when you use the combination of all three of those products together, it's really going to provide a protection so strong we're going to back it with a leak-free guarantee. Now, I noticed you, you mentioned northern climates, coastal climates. It seems like this can work in any particular climate zone. It really would. Um, it's going to have application wherever builders are looking to truly put in waterproofing underlayment to protect their roof's integrity. So, you know, as, as we were talking earlier, all of our systems are designed to streamline processes and balance that with long-term durability. So what's really great for customers that are using all three of these products is they can get this wherever zip system sheathing and tape products are sold. So you don't have to go to a roofing supply necessarily. Um, it's going to be very accessible throughout our network of nationwide distributors and dealers. And it's um, going to be easily installed like the rest of our system. So I see that you've got water running across the zip sheathing now, this, the zip system sheathing. Now this is not your system. You don't want water running across it, but just in case that it does, it's actually not going through to underside. You've got a little conference room underneath there. So people would be getting wet, but right now nobody's getting wet underneath it. And this is more of just like a fail safe, correct? Yeah. The reason why you would consider replacing your felt with an integrated water resistive barrier as your underlayment is because it really reduces the room for error both in application and also over that long-term durability whether you're under construction and your roof deck is exposed or in some cases where your shingles blow off if you're yep. in an area where it's prone to storms so you want to reduce every possible risk when your roof deck is exposed which happens a lot and as a builder you know supply chain issues again we talked about windows but also roofing I had a roofer show up two weeks late had the zip system up there no problems we're able to keep on working on the inside stay dry it was, it was great yeah quick rough dry ends are definitely a huge benefit of having the streamlined system on the job all right so we've seen the tape on the walls we've seen some of the tape and peel and stick on the roof let's look at some of the tape and the openings you guys have a stretch tape this is our zip system stretch tape it's an advanced acrylic adhesion to get into the details of the water and air sealing. So we, we take off a bit of the tape, kind of roll it into the corner, 
easily stretches up the side. So usually in a regular application, I, what you would do is you would measure your sill and put about six inches up on the jams. And then you would roll it into the corner, kind of lay it out real nice and smooth, stretch it just enough to get that tight air and water seal around the corner. And it's easily replaceable as you're installing it. So repositionable, I should say. However, because it is an advanced acrylic adhesion, technology, it is pressure activated. So it's important to roll the tape, which really sets that whole process in motion. So I'm using my J roller here that actually, if you look closely, it's got a little quality control Z. I was going to ask so about that. that. I yeah. like the old ones had that. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. It's a nice check on the job to make sure that everything's been pressure activated. Like you see Cheetos and fingerprints. That means they didn't <laughs> use the roller. That's right. That's right. So once you've rolled it out, now what's starting to happen is the acrylic within that adhesive is starting to do a wetting out process that's actually going to get stronger over time. So it's going to continue to bond with the surface of the zip system sheathing and it's going to create this really tight air and water proofing bond. I was talking to engineers, they said they came up with this at lunch, they're eating a fruit roll up <laughs> and playing with some tape. It's like, you know what? This hey, is a good way to do the corners. There's something to this. Make it a little stickier and we've got something. Yeah. So that works on the corners of the windows, but also I see some of the penetrations here as well. That's always really tricky is getting those sealed up. Yeah, and actually it's right next to one of our other um, flashing options, our zip system liquid flash. So again, anytime you've got this tricky to seal curve, uh, we recommend using a zip system stretch tape that can help easily flash around those areas. Or a lot of people um, prefer a fluid applied, um, our liquid flash. Um, sealing solution option there and this is a, a really neat product as well because it's moisture curing so even if it's a wet day on the job it actually is going to help curing happen a little bit faster so you're, it's not going to slow you down in that process all right so Kristen just showed us these the basically the stretchy tape the, that we have over the zip system stretch tape now we also talked about a couple other systems down here you've got the stretch tape and you also have the liquid flash. Now I can personally test that this liquid flash works. It works really well. I was using it in the rain. It stuck, it stuck to me, stuck to my pants. I've watched these pants 30 times and it's still stuck. My wife's upset at me and she actually says, if I buy you new pants, you cannot use the liquid flash with that. So I actually have liquid flash pants that I will wear, especially when I'm applying liquid flash and doing touch up on any of our job sites. All right, so we have a couple different applications. We see the outside corner where you've used the zip tape over here. And I really like how you guys did, it looks like you used the liquid flash in the inside corner, is that correct? Or is that tape? Yes, you're right. Um, our liquid flash is, it's eligible for use anywhere really on the build. So you can, whether you're looking to use it for a seam sealing application, you can use it on the roof with your sheathing panels there as well. So again, a lot of people really prefer its versatility. It really smooths out easily and, and it's got this kind of surface quality where you can tell exactly how thick it is and exactly where your air and moisture barrier is. And for those who love the control of basically different types of applications, so let's look at, I see a sausage tube over here and also just see like just a regular caulk tube. So let's look at the different ways that you can actually apply it and what it comes in. So there is some versatility in your options here. Um, we actually are selling some of these smaller tubes on Amazon and we've got a 29 ounce caulk gun and then you do have a sausage pack that you can use with an applicator gun uh, for ease of installation. So it's really up to you on what your preference is, but either way I can attest that liquid flash is going to go on smooth. It's easy. You can be as, as artistic as you want with it. Some people are actually even using painter's tape to make just that real nice clean curb appeal. Um, so, I, but overall, it's really a barrier that you can trust to perform long-term. Yeah, and I really want to emphasize, have a quality caulk gun. Now with, with the sausage tube, um, it works great. It's pretty much uh, foolproof. But one time I accidentally used one of the other ones with a cheap caulk gun. Mm -hmm. You need to make sure you're using good tools with good products. Right, yeah, very good point. And I saw a fire, so I called the fire department, but they said, Matt, hold on, this is a display, it's a demonstration. And they actually, this is Huber's first non-wood product that's used for sheathing. So I've got Mike here, he's gonna kind of explain why we've got a fire behind us and why we don't have any fire extinguishers. 
All right, Mike, so why are you guys burning things over here and why don't I see any s'mores? Right, yeah, unfortunately they wouldn't let us use real fire, but we have a pretty realistic simulation. So this is Exacor. It's a brand new product liner within Huber. It's an MGO product, so it's our first non-wood based sheathing and subflooring material. It can be used as a part of a fire rated assembly within one and two hour uh, walls. Um, and when using the subflooring, it also can help all, not only with the fire rated part, it can also help with the ICC and the SEC sound ratings. Um, we can look over here uh, in the next shot and we can show you a little bit more about the subflooring application. But right here, we're showing it as a wall panel. It can only be used on the exterior side of the wall um, for those fire rated assemblies and not as an interior gypsum panel. So it looks like you, this is was originally developed for a commercial, but you can also use it for residential, especially when you need that fire rating when you're too close to the next building. Yep, that's absolutely right. The intent of it was to be used in type three construction. It is an FRT equivalent product. Um, it can also be used in type five construction as well. So you're absolutely right. So those houses with zero lot lines, it can be used on that exterior side of the wall. Okay, let's take a look at this other display over here. Absolutely. All Excellent. right, so we've got a section here. So what's what are you guys showing off in the section over here? Yep. Uh, so not only do we have it as a subfloor only panel, um, but we can also use it as an underlayment. The benefit of Exacore and a floor application is that it eliminates the need for what laid gypsum underlayment. Obviously, that is a very timely process to install it. Uh, so once these are installed, you can continue with the framing going above it. So I see in this assembly, we also have some soundproofing insulation as well, in addition to this. Yeah, so this one actually right here is a, a wall assembly, not part of the floor system. But right. as you can, we talked about earlier, you can get up to a two hour. This is showing that with the 5 8 inch Exacore on the exterior side and two layers of 5 8 on the interior side, you can get that two hour assembly with rock wool or mineral wool within the cavity. So with this product, I've had people reach out to me. It's like, you know what? I live next to an airport. I've got these planes flying overhead, so this can be used as a sheathing. I didn't realize it was for sound, so this can actually help with sound as well. Right, so our tested assemblies are primarily for floor application. So the intent, it's for more like a multifamily application where you may have a neighbor above you. And as all good multifamily neighbors know, you either live below a clogger or someone who bowls at midnight. So the point of this project is to help reduce some of that sound that transmits from above into your space below. So the, the intent is this kind of goes down before the framing goes up. So you basically install it all either as a subfloor or an underlayment, and then the walls get built up on top of that. So it's integral to the actual floor system itself. Now, are there any limitations on the type of flooring you can stick on top of this? Uh, no, most common like LVTs um, and what you would find in multifamily can go directly to it. We do have some compatibility um, reports in terms of like what adhesives work well with it. Um, you can always reach out to us at huberwood.com to get that. Um, and the only other thing to keep in mind when fastening it to the framing um, or installing the Exacore itself, just want to use a hot dip galvanized fastener or better. And can you install hardwoods on top of this as well, nail into it? Uh, I, traditionally, it's going to be a glued down hardwood flooring system, but it can be installed. Okay, I appreciate it. Thanks for your time. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, thanks again for giving us a tour of your booth and sharing all these amazing new products that you have. And where's the best place for people to find out more about your products? Yeah, I recommend everybody go to huberwood.com and then keep up with us on Instagram at, at huberwood. We're always interested to hear what you think about our products and what others are doing and all of the interesting applications that they're using them in. All right, thanks again. We'll look forward to partnering with you on some of the, the up and coming projects that we have. Absolutely. Look forward to it.